Welcome in Andre Ward, who is in the bubble in Las Vegas to weigh in on the happenings of the day. Um, as I talked about in the last segment, Mark Breland made his first public comments about Deontay Wilder, saying he was done, that Wilder, and then Wilder was done, and that Wilder then responded. What is your reaction to what that went down between the two? Well, I mean, first and foremost, it's unfortunate. You know, you, you hate to see a team like that and a group like that that's, you know, been through the lean years and the tough times, make it to the mountaintop for, for, for a long time, and then have this kind of falling out after a loss. But you know, Max, these kind of things, you know, happen all the time after a loss, especially a bad loss, especially when a, a prize fighter takes his first loss. Somebody has to be to blame. And I've spoken out about this, you know, since February, since, you know, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury fought that. Ultimately, somebody was going to have to take the blame. Didn't know it was going to be Mark Breland, but that we were going to see this kind of behavior from Deontay Wilder because you've seen a guy who's been built up as being invincible, and you know how it is in the sport of boxing. Punchers have a delicate psyche sometimes, and when that punch doesn't work, and then in turn they get knocked out, things are shattered, things fall apart, and unfortunately, Mark Breland, who I believe is a great coach, but an even better person is getting thrown under the bus. I don't agree with it. Um, there's a time and a place to take the high road and let people talk and not answer. And then there's a time to stand up for yourself and push back. And I'm glad Mark Breland is speaking out. You know, Deontay Wilder is clearly going into ego protection here. And I have so much respect for Deontay, who picked the game up very late and reached the heights he did. And let's keep in mind, he fought the best heavyweight in the world and gave up what? 40 pounds, 50 pounds to the best heavyweight in the world who's been boxing since he was a little kid. But his ego is part of what makes him this great fighter, right? Like, whatever you want to say about Deontay, oh, his boxing skills are this or that, he has figured out a way to win. Even against dangerous fighters like Luis Ortiz, he gets that right hand home. So it's understandable that his ego is under attack now. He's built, he believes that he can beat anybody. And when he doesn't, he looks for excuses. There's something wrong with the gloves. There's something wrong with my trainer. But in this case, Andre, <laughs> it seems like he was hurt by some of the things that Breland said. Like, like he tried to take the high road in a way, but just couldn't bring himself to do it because his feelings were genuinely hurt by what Breland had to say. Well, listen, I, I agree. I respect Deontay Wilder for, for you know, having a, a late start in the game. And, you know, a lot of times heavyweights can, can do that where it's harder for lower weight fighters. And not even just that, but just being willing to take on the, the next best guy in the division and the toughest guys in the division. And that's something that the sport of boxing is, is, is sorely missing, is guys who are willing to knock on the door of the other top guy in the division. Wilder's checked that box. Um, I'm not sure, though, why he's shocked or surprised that, that Breland is, is fighting back and sticking up for himself. I mean, Breland is, you know, a former fighter himself, and he may be older and, and not competing as a, as a professional prize fighter, but he's still got that fight in him. And you can only take so much as a man. And the types of things that Deontay Wilder has said about Mark Breland, I, I, I mean, you know, it, it can be a career ender if mm. Mark Breland doesn't speak up and, and say what he said. So I'm shocked that, that you know, Deontay Wilder is shocked. Like, why are you surprised? I mean, I saw a quote where he said, you know, where is all of this coming from? It's coming because of your comments. It's coming because of your accusations that have not been proven, right? These are just things that have been thrown out there. And he's saying that I know this happened. And he's giving all these, you know, these polarizing accusations without any tangible proof. I don't respect that. I can't respect that. And once again, I'm standing behind Mark Breland. We got a lot of topics to hit. I just want to say before we move on that Mark Breland was such an amateur star. He turned pro on the same card as main event fighters, Pernell Whitaker, Meldrick Taylor, Evander Holyfield, all those guys. Guess who the main event was? Mark Breland. He was the number one star coming out of the amateurs of that entire group. A yeah. lot of rumors that Ryan Garcia will be fighting Manny Pacquiao. At first they said it's an exhibition. Now it seems like Ryan Garcia, when he heard that backlash, was like, oh, time out. No exhibition. I want to fight this dude. What are your thoughts? I don't like it, and I've said this from the very beginning, and I don't understand it. You know, like, like what, what, what's the game plan here, right? Like, Manny Pacquiao is, is two weight classes above Ryan Garcia. Manny Pacquiao is still an active fighter. Like, he's not on the, you know, the Floyd Mayweather tour where he's done fighting top-level competition, and now he's fighting these exhibitions and just making money and having fun. That's not what Manny Pacquiao is. So what does Manny Pacquiao get out of facing a Ryan Garcia? But, but the burden, I think, lays more on the Garcia side because you have a young 
talented fighter who can be a star in the sport. Why would you risk him going in there and looking bad, potentially getting hit with a Manny Pacquiao left hand that could, that could hurt his confidence, knock him out, make him look bad? What is the plan if you're Oscar De La Hoya, if you're Team Garcia? I don't see it. That The road to Manny Pacquiao makes zero sense to me, especially when Ryan Garcia is on the internet almost daily, taking up all sorts of bandwidth, calling out the other 135 pounders. Ryan's got to either back that up or get on a different plan where he can start moving toward facing some of those top guys. But Manny Pacquiao is not the answer. I hear you, Andre. The only thing I'll say is Manny Pacquiao's the biggest payday. A lot of stars, but Manny Pacquiao's the biggest payday, and he's a prize fighter. He's going for the biggest game. I want, go ahead, Max, real quick, because I, I need to ask you about you. All, all, yeah, just real quick. All money ain't good money. I'm just put it like that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.